So, Liverpool 2, Chelsea 1. Honestly, not the results that we deserved. Honestly, we matched them for large parts of the game and I think we deserved at least a draw. But there are a lot of positives to take forward into the seasons from this game though. Like we started really strong, had Anfield on the back foot early on until we handed them a penalty on a silver plate made. At that point, we had the entire stadium quiet, which let's be real, is one of the hardest things to do at Anfield. I honestly believe we should have had two goals before they even scored. Palmer Johns and the Sancho penalty shout. Don't worry, I'll get to that one later. But my point is that if we had gone ahead earlier, it would have been a totally different ball game. But looking back, we need to focus on the positives, but we also can't ignore the lessons that we learned from the game. So I'll try doing a bit of highlights from the game. Chelsea had 12 shows the most they have had ever at Anfield in over 3,000 days. Then we had 57.5% position compared to Liverpool's 42.5. And mind you, most of our position was in their half or in the middle of the pitch, while almost 40% of Liverpool's position was in the defensive half. And I think that's not an easy feat to achieve at Anfield. Then we even had 18 touches in their box in the first half. This is the most any team has ever managed since South Southampton in 2020. On the flip side, Let's be honest, our reaction after conceding the first goal was piss poor. We became shaky and disorganized as we have been in many patches across the season. Especially we have been really poor while defending transitions. We have to get better as a team while defending. We need to develop more sort of meaningful patterns of play against settled play. We need more maturity as a squad. But I think that comes with time, especially with the new manager and young players. So I promised you guys that I'll come back to the penalty decisions and here we are. Look at this visual. How is the TAS casual trip on Sancho not a penalty <laughs> while Colville's challenge on Jones is? I can't wrap my head around that. It looks like TA was just casually flirting while Colville Swans was treated as harassment. And look, the broader point over here is that the referees in the Premier League seriously are all over the place. There's zero consistency. And this doesn't just affect us, it's like all across the board. Don't even get me started on the inconsistency with the yellow cards. One day you're kicking the ball away and it's a yellow and on another day it's just brushed off. The rice and Trossard's second yellows made, I mean they were ridiculous. It's all vibes now with PGML. These refs just don't know what they're doing anymore. And then being Chelsea fans, we also have to deal with Anthony Taylor every season, so yay for us. But don't let Arsenal fans bait you into thinking that the Tossin versus Saliba situations were similar. Like Tossin's challenge, it started in the Liverpool half with another defender nearby. So that sort of made it a tactical foul, right? Yellow card given, correct decision. Whereas Saliba's was a clear goal scoring opportunity with no one else around. So that was a fair red card, at least in my opinion. Now that we are talking of Arsenal, they lost to Bournemouth. We got to talk about Arteta. He's been in charge for five seasons, spent over 700 million British pounds and only has an FA Cup to show for it. I'm just saying that he's starting to look like the Spanish Eric Ten Hag at this point. Just kidding guys. And Bender aside, Arsenal wins this game 11 v 11 on any other day. Right now, in my opinion, they are the title favourites and this is their title to lose. They are still favourites after losing to Bournemouth, especially with Man City struggling without Rodri. Now that we have talked about Man City, I think, and we have also discussed the topic of refereeing decisions, I think we should also talk about that Man City late winner against Wolves. Look, as much as I wanted it ruled out as a Chelsea fan, I think the ref made the right call. It was a goal. But knowing PGMOL, I think the same the same play would probably get ruled out in another game. It's just shocking how inconsistent the refereeing is at this point. On one day, something is a yellow, something is a red, something is a disallowed goal. And on the other day, it's just brushed off like it's nothing. Now, I think some people would try to make this into an, an agenda. Also, there are many Chelsea fans that believe that that certain refs are against us, well, Anthony Taylor is. But I think if you look at it in retrospective and you look at it in broader terms, I think just the officiating in Premier League is shit overall. And there's something that we need to do about it. 